when when plastics come out, you, it, it was one of the best inventions ever. But then there's this other side of it where you, you really don't know that you're touching BPA through your everyday life, and it's shocking. It's about moderation and basically trying to reduce it when you can. There's little scratches in there. Yeah. You know, are an indicator that it's time to go and replace with glass. Yeah. You know, it can be expensive to transition out of some of these products and moving to glass bottles and glass containers and avoiding canned foods and switching to organic. This can add up, so you don't want to overwhelm yourself at once. You know, again, we're going back to natural materials. Yeah. Which is really how we were designed to prepare our foods, you know. You can kind of only do the best that you can do with BPA-free lifestyle. That's really it. I mean, honestly, like, you really never know what you're going to find in, in any products that you buy. We can't just trust what's being put on the store shelves anymore. We have to be our own investigators and protect our families. But just so you know, BPA is not in every plastic. And it's typically not found in children's toys. Okay. And I know that a lot of the steps that I am taking are going to be beneficial in the long run for me and the baby. Uh, and, and I definitely want to pass it on and make sure, you know, my baby is going to be, n not really be affected by the BPA as well.